Okay, I'm going to go through some capital budgeting uh, examples in Excel. And uh, the first thing I'm going to do is sort of manually calculate the uh, present value of cash inflows and outflows to calculate a net present value. And then I will show you the sort of automated methods using the MPV function. And then IRR function and finally we'll calculate the ROI of the project. Okay, so we'll go ahead and get started, and uh, we can see that we are working with a cost of capital of 12%. Uh, we're going to be evaluating a project with an initial cash outflow of 425000 and we think the future economic benefits are as follows. All right, we're going to somehow be uh, getting 495000 per year, and uh, we're going to be uh, continuing to spend after that initial investment 310000 per year. What we want to know is, uh, in terms of today's dollars, what are all these multiple years of cash flows worth? Okay, I'm going to start by calculating the present value of uh, cash inflow in year one. All right, I'm going to do it manually. All right, and so we're just going to divide that cash inflow by one plus the cost of capital, right? And since that's one year in the future, actually, let me absolute reference that first. And that's one year in the future. All right, so I'm going to raise it to uh, the year reference cell up above. All right, so then uh, if I uh, were going to get $495,000 in a year from now, uh, that would be worth uh, 400 about $442,000 today, all right? And uh, once we have it done once, I can just copy that formula across, and we can see that as we go out farther in time, uh, that cash flow is worth less and less in terms of today's dollars, all right? And so then I just want to uh, sum that all up. I'm going to do it by uh, selecting all the cells. I'm going to use the Quick Analysis Toolbar, all right? I'm going to go to Totals and then running total, and it gives me a cumulative sum. You want to take a look at that formula. It gives me a cumulative sum uh, in, in the row below, all right? So in terms of today's dollars, uh, this is worth uh, 1.7, about $1.8 million in cash inflows. All right, I'm going to do the same thing for cash outflows. So we'll take the... the cash outflow in year one, right? And we will divide it by one plus our cost of capital, which is in B4. I'll absolute reference it. And then I will, right, discount it back the appropriate number of years. Okay, and then copy that across. Okay, so once again, we are going to get a, a cumulative cash outflow, all right? And then uh, in our cash outflows, we also have to include the initial investment. All right, so then when I do that quick analysis, cumulative sum, all right, I'm gonna have to include the initial cash outflow, all right? Okay, and then so to get the MPV, what we do is just subtract the uh, the total inflow, or excuse me, subtract the total outflow from the total inflow, and we get a net present value of $241,884. Okay, so that's the manual method of doing it. All right, Excel also has this built-in function NPV, all right, and it doesn't really work the way it's advertised. All right, so what it says it wants is a rate, which is fine. That's in B4. That's our discount rate. All right, and then it wants to know essentially the, the uh, cash flows uh, throughout the life of the project. All right, the problem here is as soon as I start putting in cash flows, all right, the first value I put in, it assumes that's the cash flow in year one, so it discounts it back one year. All right, so the way we have to use this is we exclude year zero cash flow. Okay, so I'm going to just select the net cash flow. So here I've made some helper cells that uh, net the 
uh, inflows and outflows. All right, so there was a $495,000 inflow. I subtracted away the $310,000 outflow. All right, and then I net 185. All right, so I'm going to discount all those. All right, and if I if I hit enter here, we'll see that okay, the value of just the discounted uh, cash inflows or net cash flows is 666.84. It's quite a bit different from uh, the way I calculated it manually when I was doing the MPV. All right, and then. If I just go back in here, though, and subtract away that initial investment, all right, I end up with the same number. Okay. All right, so you just have to be careful when using the MPB function uh, that, you, uh, that you realize that you cannot include the initial cash outflow. All right, and then, yes, later you do have to subtract it away. Okay. All right, another, another way to evaluate projects that people use a lot is the IRR, or internal rate of return. And the IRR gives you the cost of capital that would cause the MPV to be zero. All right, and so uh, it can be useful. The only, the only caveat with IRR is um, if there is more than one a year where the net cash flow is negative, then you will get more than one IRR. All right, so these are this this formula is particularly useful for uh, for projects where the only cash outflow uh, or net cash outflow is in the is in the first year. All right, so we find it using the IRR. All right, and then this one's pretty straightforward. I actually do need to include the initial cash outflow here. Otherwise, I'll get an infinite value for the for the IRR, right, which will, you know, evaluate to a, to an error in Excel. Okay. All right. So I put in all my net cash flows, and I get uh, thirty three point one one. And just to kind of confirm that it's doing what I said it was doing, if I put in 33.11, all right, I should get something pretty close, not exactly, pretty close to zero for an MPV, all right, and uh, yeah, $35 is pretty close, all right, if I monkey around with it a little bit, I'm sure I can get it very much closer to zero, all right, but uh, essentially what we're saying is this project is very valuable because we have a cost of capital of uh, 12 and our IRR is 33. All right, very favorable project. All right, the last thing I'm going to do is calculate uh, the ROI of the entire project. And I'm going to calculate that as the net present value, all right, divided by the total cost or the discounted total cost of, uh, of the entire project. Okay. All right, and so there we get 15.68% uh, return on investment. All right, so I hope that helps with uh, valuing projects using discounted cash flows.